Okay, in terms of what the biggest problem most scripts have, when I first see them, before I've done any work with the writer, um, one would be presentation and style. Uh, writers usually tend to put in way too much dialogue. Uh, a lot of times they don't have it formatted quite correctly, even though there's now formatting programs that should make that easy, but they don't know when they're supposed to put something all in caps and stuff like that. That's an easy one to fix. Um, a lot of times in the presentation, what a writer will do is, not only will they have too much dialogue, they'll go right to the dialogue and they won't describe the setting or describe the characters to create an image for the reader of what we're seeing on the screen. Or uh, they'll, they'll feel like there's some rush to get to dialogue and they'll railroad through the action or they'll introduce five characters all at once because they made the mistake of introducing them at a party and when you're introduced to five characters at once, a reader won't be able to remember who's who and they, did, they, they lose their involvement with the script. So that's one thing. Second thing, it goes along with what I said, is I'll read a script and I say, why does the writer possibly think this is going to be of interest to the mass audience? I can understand why it might be of interest to the writer, because it's a historical event that was interesting or from their family or they have a character that they think is interesting, but the character doesn't want anything, doesn't do anything, doesn't pursue a goal that has a clear end point. And so that's sort of very core issue of those five elements. So it's, it's the combination of those. It's, it's the presentation and style, and it's formulating a truly commercial idea that has those five key elements of hero, empathy, desire, conflict, and courage. When it comes to how you should develop an idea, how you should write the script, what the, sequen what the steps are you should take, and what order you should take them, I, I divide uh, the principles of screenwriting into two categories. One are the principles of craft that consistently prove true in successful movies. Principles of structure and character and even dialogue and scenes and transitions and peaks and valleys to the emotion and so on. Those are sort of the rules, so to speak. Those are the principles that you could apply to each and every movie. You always want to have those in mind. But the other aspect is what I call process issues. And that is, when should you write? Should you start out writing index cards? Should you start out writing a legal pad? Should you be at the computer? Should you talk into a tape recorder? Should you start with a treatment? Should you start by writing um, just a sentence? Or should you dive right in? Or should you write dialogue first? And the answer to all of those questions is, I don't know. What you should do is what works for you. Because here's the thing, at the end of the day, each and every day, if you're closer to completing the screenplay that you're working on than you were at the beginning of the day, then that was a good day. So you have to find out for yourself what the process is. I know writers who would never consider starting a screenplay unless they'd thoroughly outlined it. Because they don't want to free wheel. They don't want to meander around. They don't want to waste a lot of time going off in the wrong direction to discover the structure is off or the character isn't well drawn. I know other writers that if you said you've got to write an outline, they would say then I don't want to write because the fun for them is the discovery. What you must understand though is whatever process you pick, those principles that I talked about, the craft principles, You've got to address those sooner or later.